Hi everybody, it's Miss Kim. And Miss Laura. And Chewy and Newt. As usual. Yep. They love their couch. <laughs> they do. And I think they like being on video. They don't say much, but they just, you know. Yeah. They're, they're they the, like to hang out. They're the good looking part of the video. <laughs> yeah. They just want the scratches they're, and the They're work. the best part. We're convinced they're the best part about the video. Yeah. Except for, yeah, even Newt's profile. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, so. <laughs> <Just> moving along. <laughs> I am going to be reading this book called Wibble Wobble Boom. And it's in my face, but there you go. <laughs> I love the title. I know. It's it's fun to say. Wibble I have wobble. often wibble wobbled and boomed. Oh, yes, definitely. Especially with skating. Because this book is all about ice skating. It's about a little girl who's skating for the first time. And I actually picked it because my niece, my youngest niece, ice skates. Um, she started a year ago, and she's quite good at it now. She's I go a, and see her. Yes, yeah, yeah. And I paid money to see her. Well, <laughs> canned goods yeah. still. Yeah, yeah. No, it's fun. I've always enjoyed watching ice skating. I used to watch the skating when I was a kid on yeah. TV, the figure skating competitions with my mom. So, we And actually, them. you skate. Yes, I have my skates in the car right now. Yeah. I haven't gone well, in a few you weeks, always kind of keep them in, yeah, the keep them in the car. I've been skating since I was like seven years old. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know how to skate with a hockey stick, but I can skate just normally. So that's something. Which is kind of scary because Miss Laura frequently breaks things on herself. Yeah. But she does okay on skates. Yeah, I've, well, no. I did break my collarbone once on my Oh, that's skates. right. You yeah. were skating then. Oh, buddy. Yeah. And I was yeah. left on the ice by my cousin. We don't talk about that. <laughs> it's very bitter. Not really. She actually every talks family. about it a lot. We bring it up at every family function. <laughs> yes. I do it to make him feel guilty. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to read um, Ruffles and the Teeny Tiny Kittens. And it's about a dog who has to get used to teeny tiny kittens. They tend to poop a lot in here, too. It's hilarious. I love looking at the pictures. Um, but it's kind of like our house because the dogs didn't like the kitties, the kitten at first, or uh, Sprocket, who you don't mm. see because she yeah. is protesting video today. She's just not going to be in the yeah, shot at all. Yeah, she didn't even want to come downstairs. Yeah. No. The doggy didn't really like her at first, but then they got used to her, and now they love her, and they all sleep in Kyle, and it's great. Yeah, so, it's yeah. actually... It's really cute because a lot of times she'll lay on top of Chewy and then she'll lick him. Yeah. She'll just like lick his face and his head. Yes. Yeah, it's really it. cute. Stop sniffing your brother. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. So, well, we hope you enjoy the stories. Bye. Bye. Wibble Wobble Boom by Marianne Rodman. Jump, leap, twirl. Jump, leap, twirl. I swoop and swirl up the walk to the ice center. Wait for me, Claire, calls mom. Today's my first ice skating class. I'll, I'll fly through the air, land on one foot, and spin so fast you can't see me. One little lesson and I'll be on TV. What's your name, sweetie, says a lady with a clipboard. Claire? You're a snowplow, she says. I'm not a snowplow, I'm a skater, I tell her. Snowplows are beginner skaters. The lady smacks a name sticker on, on my chest. Go get your skates. A man at the counter gives mom brown skates. Those skates are ugly. I want white ones, I say. Brown skates come with lessons, says mom. If you like skating, we can buy white ones. I like skating right now, I tell her. But mom doesn't listen. A girl in a pink vest plops down next to me. Her sticker says Olivia. Her skates are white. She looks like a skater. I look like a snowplow. Two boys in hockey shirts clomp over. Why are your skates brown? One of them asks. Why are yours black? I answer. They're hockey skates, the boys yell. Whoosh, crunch. A skater swoops across the ice to our bench. Hi, snowplows. I'm your coach, Miss Nicole. Ready to skate? Yeah, we shout. But we don't skate. We stand up in skates, then sit down again. Up, down, up, down. This isn't skating. I want to skate. Good job, Miss Nicole cheers. Let's get on the ice. I'll show Miss Nicole. I'm a real skater, not a snowplow. I'll show everybody. I step onto the rink, wibble. Another step, wobble. What's wrong with my ankles? Wibble wobble, boom, whoosh crunch. Did everyone see Claire fall, Miss Nicole calls? Yeah, holler the snowplowers. She fell on her bottom, the right way to fall. Good job, Claire. But I fell, I say. 
All skaters fall, says Miss Nicole. Okay, snowplows, Claire and I will show you how to get up. I scribble scrabble up. Falling is easy, but I want to skate. Miss Nicole claps her mittens. Line up everyone, side by side. Wibble wobble boom. Wibble wobble boom. Lining up takes a long time. Put your hands on your waist and march in place, says Miss Nicole. Good job. Let's march in line to the other side. The other side is far, far away. This isn't skating. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble. Bump boom. You pushed me, yells Olivia. Did not. Whoosh crunch. Problem girls, ask Miss Nicole. No, we mumble, sorry. Let's stay farther apart, says Miss Nicole. We scribble scrabble up and march away. I wibble wobble to the side. Everyone is so far ahead, I hurry to catch up. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble, boom. Know why you're called a snowplow, shouts a hockey boy? Cause you clean the ice with your bottom. Skating is hard, not fun. I huff and puff to the other side. Good job, Miss Nicole smiles. Now back where you started, one at a time. My feet hurt and I'm cold. I hide at the end of the line. Maybe Miss Nicole will, will forget I'm here. One by one, skaters wibble wobble away. When they go boom, Miss Nicole whoosh crunches over to help. I watch her feet, push, glide, slide. That's it, push, glide, slide. That's skating. Your turn, Claire. I take a deep breath and push off. Glide, a little wibble. Slide, a little wobble. Push, glide, slide. Look, says Olivia, surprised. She's skating. I am. I fly across the ice like a graceful swan. Go, Claire, go, Claire, chant the snowplows. Push, glide, slide. Closer and closer. Boom. Scribble, scrabble up. Push, glide, slide. I touch the rail. I did it. Hooray, cheer the snowplows. Good job, Claire, says Miss Nicole. And good job, snowplows. See you next week. We wibble wobble off the ice. One of the hockey boys shoves past me. You know why you're a snowplow, he asks again? And suddenly I do. Cause snowplows work hard, I tell him. Yeah, Olivia butts in. Make way for the snow plows. She gives me a smile and a high five. See you next week, Olivia waves. See you. I change my skates for my shoes and wibble wobble off to find mom. Skating is hard. I feel like I skated to the North Pole and back. Someday soon though, I'll have those white skates. And then I'll jump and leap and twirl. The end. Ruffles and the Teeny Tiny Kittens by David Melling. This is Ruffles. Ruffles loves howling and scratching and eating, fetching, sniffing and chewing, digging, running and sleeping. But Ruffles does not love the teeny tiny kittens. They climb and hide and pounce and purr and lick and snore and stare and chase and poop. The teeny tiny kittens follow Ruffles everywhere. They want to do everything that Ruffles does, but Ruffles doesn't like sharing. Not his snacks, not his cushion, not his tree, not his window, not his hole, and not his stick. Not his chew toy, not his basket, and not his favorite ball. And Ruffles really, really doesn't want to share his blue blanket. 
Ruffles likes to snuggle up with his blue blanket and feel cozy, but the teeny tiny kittens love the blue blanket too. They climb and hide and pounce and purr and lick and snore and stare and chase and poop. Ruffles wants his blue blanket back, but the teeny tiny kittens don't understand. They think it's a game until... Rip. Oh no, now the blue blanket is torn in two. Ruffles takes what's left of the blue blanket to his basket. He wants to snuggle up and feel cozy, but now the blue blanket's too small. Ruffles shivers and wiggles and twists and turns until the teeny tiny kittens snuggle up to keep him cozy. In the morning, the teeny tiny kittens are playing. Ruffles wants to play too, so he fetches his favorite ball. Playing is so much more fun when you have, when you share. Ruffles and the teeny tiny kittens are friends. Ruffles loves howling and scratching and eating and fetching and sniffing and chewing and digging and running and sharing. But most of all, Ruffles loves the teeny tiny kittens. Well, most of the time. The end.